From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a major night here on Evenings LA as the economy suffers its worst crash to the markets in a while. We'll go over the latest details of what we saw today and those 2023 stimulus checks. 2023 is one of the best years for stimulus because a combination of three years of stimulus. 20, 2021, and 2022. Become a member in less than 30 days. That's what Frank Mancuso did. He got 18 months of five checks per month. That's tens of thousands of dollars. You're going to need it with a two-year recession. That two-year recession is just around the corner. And tonight, the breaking news for the shores of Santa Monica, California, is that the economy is evidencing the feelings of a recession tonight. In tonight's recording, we go over the latest details of how to gauge this economy and how to gauge stimulus. How are you? Good evening. In tonight's major broadcast, we deal with a crash, the market crash, the biggest fall in the stock market in over a month, down 600 points. And what happened? We'll go over the latest details of what caused this left and right in today's broadcast. Plus, we're going to go over these incredible stimulus checks. 2023 has the past stimulus from 20. 2021 and 2022 still funded and when a law is passed and it's still funded it's still paying and we're going to go over how to get these incredible stimulus checks for you and your beautiful family 18 months five checks per month three thousand dollars across the board all the averages and that's what viewers are getting and i'll show you how to get these incredible checks in this tonight's broadcast a to c from joe biden e to k from congress l to q from me and we'll go over all these incredible checks as well these are stimulus checks for all different walks of life in tonight's broadcast for individuals who are low income, 75,000 less, SSI and SSDI. For people who have small businesses that were impacted by the pandemic, children, lots of different signals and lots of different monies in today's broadcast. Plus, we'll be looking at what happened with this market, a very, very bad week already underway. It was Tuesday that got us rolling into big news and bad news it was. Goldman missing. J.B. Hunt reporting corporate earnings minutes ago after the bell closed. I'll have the latest details across the board. And then we'll go over why that CPI is getting new indication today of trouble for this economy. It's a big night, and we did not have a market rally, so that graphic sort of needs to get changed. We had a market implosion. The latest details on what's happened and the latest details on the money heat up tonight's broadcast. From the shores of San Marcos, California, it's a big evening. It's a big night, and it's evening. It's America's most watched show in prime time. Starts right now. Good evening, Nevada. The market's not particularly happy with what's going on. And what's going on was that PPI release today, the Davos Switzerland over the weekend, the latest details on corporate earnings missing, and the labor numbers not well as at all. 25,000 employees, at least, in the technology industry have been laid off in just a few months. We're going to go over all those incredible details right tonight. J.B. Hunter, fellow reporting corporate earnings minutes ago, missing, and Goldman missing yesterday as well. All that market news comes up late in this broadcast. But first, let's start with those incredible 2023 stimulus checks. The way the checks works is that once they are passed, they remain law if they are still funded. And these incredible 2023 checks are still funded. And these are checks for you. We're going to go over these incredible checks, A to C, E to K, L to Q, in this broadcast. What do you do? You go under this video. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, and get these massive stimulus checks in the membership newsletter that everyone's talking about. The brilliant, easy to use membership newsletter at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Here's a roadmap for tonight's one hour special report. First, we're going to go over the category checks, how they got passed. Then we're going to go over each check one at a time. And then we're going to go over how to get these incredible checks. Then we'll turn over to the market data and that crash of the market down at 600 plus points tonight. But first, let's understand how stimulus works. Let's understand how laws work. If you pass a law, let's say in 1920, it remains law as long as it's still funded. And it remains law as long as it does not have an expiration provision in there. And that's why these 2023 stimulus checks are beautiful. It's a combination of 2020, 2021, and 2022 stimulus all passed. 
and all still funded. 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board. Let's look at see how they came to fruition. And again, these are stimulus checks for you. Let's look at the A to C starting right now. Stimulus checks A to C are beautiful stimulus checks from Joe Biden. Joe Biden passed these in spring of 2022, and the minute he did, they immediately came onto this channel that night, and viewers started getting them that evening across the board. These incredible checks are A to C for 2023 stimulus checks. Individuals who make sales of $75,000, go get them. Mary Cup, $150,000 less, go get them. If you're on benefits, go get them. And if you live in any U.S. state or U.S. territory, go get them. Because it's federal stimulus. It's not from state governors. It's not from your state. It's from the federal government. A to C, what are they? We're going to go over each of those checks one at a time in a second. And then came Congress, and they passed more stimulus checks in 2022, E to K, and they're still funded. And we're going to go over those incredible E to K checks thereafter. And then I found you more checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. And they're brilliant. They're coming up in the breaking news of tonight's broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California, in just a second. But first, let's go to A to C. What are stimulus checks A to C? Let's look at them right now. Members of this channel have been getting them four months, over a year practically right now, because it's been almost a year. And those incredible checks, A to C, are deliciousness. <laughs> Similar check A is 6,500 to 8,000. B is 15 to 80,000. C is 24,000 plus. Let's look at each check one at a time right now. Similar check A is a $6,500 to $12,000. 2023 stimulus check. Congratulations. You can now get it. How do you get it? You subscribe become a member, hit that alert so you have all notifications set to all on, and go into that membership newsletter and get this brilliant stimulus check A. 6,500 to 12,000. Choose your state and go right in and get that beautiful check tonight. It is federal stimulus for you, SSI, stimulus checks for you, SSDI, stimulus checks for you, SSA, stimulus checks for you, veterans, stimulus checks for you, low income. Anyone who made less than 75,000, it's law, it's passed, it's been paid, and members are getting this every night on this channel. Now, let's go to stimulus check B, fifteen to $80,000 past 2023 stimulus check. Passed in 2022, it's still funded and still paying out in 2023. And if you've never gotten it before, tonight's your night. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And the reason why I love stimulus check B is that is the check that helps pay you 18 months of stimulus checks because it'll be a two-year recession. It's going to be a two-year recession. You need 18 months of checks. And this is that beautiful check that Frank Mancuso got. He became a member in less than 30 days with that beautiful hawk emoji behind his name as a member. He got 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet, bringing in to him to tens of thousands of dollars. Again, it's stimulus check B that really helps you clean up. You want to start with A, then go to B, but remember B is the one that helps you get these MSCs. Imagine how we always advocate for it. And it finally happened. Just so wonderful. Just a wonderful feeling. MSCs are law. Viewers have been getting MSCs. It's fast stimulus, 18 months, and five checks per month, $3,000 across the board on average. Become a member. Go right into that membership newsletter, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, and get these huge checks. So far, we are in stimulus checks A to C. And the eligibility for stimulus checks A to C are for you. If you make less than 75000 married couple, SSI and SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, these are stimulus checks for Americans who are low income across the board. Now, in addition to stimulus checks A and B, you're going to go get stimulus check C. Stimulus check C is just brilliant. It really is. And stimulus check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And viewers have been getting this incredible stimulus check C since it became a law, and they've been cleaning up on it. Let's look at that brilliant stimulus check C tonight. I'm so excited for you. Are you excited? I am. It is $30,000 for a lot of people for rent. How much for utilities? Let's cue the graphic. Well, that was then. Now it's up to $15,000. And then SNAP, combinations of checks? Yes. Well, Nisu's at 23000 She went to 50000 Marcus at 32000 He went to 50000 then 100000 then $166,000. And here's Lorraine. She was at one hundred five, and she went to $155,000. That's how you rock and roll. Congratulations to all those incredible viewers and members. And Dragon, she was at a beautiful 
140,000, she went to 170,000. Johnny had gotten himself 40,000 and he brought it all the way up to 80,000. Then he helped his mom and daddy each get a brilliant 50,000 a pop. And then 20 friends and neighbors, a quarter million dollars. These are 2023 stimulus checks passed law. And what's important to understand is that Congress passes laws. They don't tell you the laws they pass. They are not a news agency. They're not a press agency. Their job is not to tell you what they pass. And this is the way that stimulus was originally written. When the pandemic hit in 2020, how much stimulus did you originally get? What were the checks you originally got? If you weren't my original viewer, you were not getting a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars. You may sat around and just looked at the mailbox. That's not why my original viewers did. They listened and learned, and I got them hundreds of thousands of dollars when the pandemic hit from the EIDL grant and the EIDL loan and, and unemployment. They got massive sums of money. They got it all the time across the board. In fact, they had to turn away some of the money as I taught them not to be collateralized for some of that money. For 2023, it is the combination of all these incredible years of checks. And as more checks are paying out, well, guess what? It's growing across the board. And as a Purple Hawk, what you need to do is pounce. Become a member. Go right on this video tonight. Pounce and get these incredible stimulus checks. Do not tell me what you what you heard or saw one time with one check that was a measly $600. This is not $600 introductory novice stimulus grade school stimulus. This is advanced PhD, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, advanced stimulus. This is for people who want to be stimulus scholars, for people who want to be payment PhDs, and you deserve all these incredible sums of money. And that's what we feature every night on this channel. This is not basic, do much, get nothing, because why? It's a two-year recession, and doing nothing is not going to keep you afloat with a, with a very, very abrupt and strongly felt recession for two months. So those are the beautiful stimulus checks A to C. In a second, we're going to continue thereafter to the checks E through K. But before we go to stimulus checks E through K, let's go over how we get these beautiful checks. You get these beautiful checks by step one, going out of the video, becoming a member, and then step two, going into that beautiful membership newsletter. In spring of 2022, I was the first and the only American broadcaster to record at the time that the U.S. economy would go into a recession in February of 2023. And I said it was going to be a two-year recession. Apparently, I was right. And the viewers at the time in spring of 2022 said, L8, if you're right, give me some stimulus. Give me a lot of it. Because a two-year recession is not a three-month lockdown because of COVID. It's not three months. It's 24 months as a recession. So immediately, I had a triple mandate for myself. Number one, make sure I can get big checks. And we found it. Tens of thousands of dollars. Number two, broad eligibility. I want to make sure that you qualify for these incredible checks. And you do. If you make less than 75000 less and you are an American, that is it. That's all that you need to worry about. And then I want to make sure that it was easy for you to get it. And it was. In a membership newsletter where you don't have to do anything with your fingers or even with listening. Originally, I said take notes while watching the video. Now you don't have to take notes while watching the video. Originally, I said take notes and I'll explain to you where it is. Well, then I put it all together in a membership newsletter. And originally, that membership newsletter was Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. But I thought to myself, why should people have to wait to Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts? What if they could just get it today? What if they could get it every day of the week, that membership newsletter, even holidays, even weekends? What if they can get it around the clock? Well, that was my Christmas gift to you in December 2020. A membership newsletter that is a website. A membership newsletter that is a website that all you have to do is go right on this video, become a member, and immediately go into that brilliant newsletter website around the clock, even on holidays. And there it is, news.la.com forward slash newsletter. I'm going to tell you, since December 23rd, when I launched the membership newsletter website, the second location to go into that newsletter, no one, no one ever ask anymore, where is the newsletter? Because it's so simple. Everyone knows a website. Everyone knows what a website looks like. You just click it and you go right to it. It's very, very basic. You do it on your cell phone. And make it even easier. I'm not just showing you on a graphic right here on a video. I'm actually putting the top of the chat. The pinned comment, the description of the video. You don't even have to write it down. You don't even have to memorize it. Just visually look at it and say, oh, it's that thing with the word newsletter in it. Click it and go right in there. 
Now, the password. The password is in the most recent post for members on your YouTube channel that you became a member to. The password is in the most recent post, and it says current password. So current means in the last 15 minutes. It doesn't mean in the last 15 days. It means the last 15 minutes because there is a membership post on almost all three channels every 15 minutes of a channel one, maybe every two hours, if it's channel two or channel three. And just get that password and put it right in there. That's all you have to do. Imagine how much work I'm doing for you. And all you have to do is get these incredible checks. Now, we've already done A to C. Now let's go to E to K. E to K are brilliant. And one person last night said, I want that one particular check. It's somewhere in, I think it was about K she liked. So there, they are together in that membership newsletter. Let's look at those brilliant E to K checks starting right now. Stimulus check E is a beautiful $7,500 to $7,500 stimulus check for you, SSI. SSDI, veterans, low income across the board. Get it right tonight. Stimulus check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. I love it. Whoa. <laughs> then stimulus check G, 30% off. Stimulus check H, $2,000 stimulus check. Wow. Again, these are all 2023 stimulus checks. Pass law. Stimulus check I and J, $8,000 each. Stimulus check K, $14,000. I love it. I just absolutely love it. And then we go to stimulus check L. $100,000 on average of loan industry money. So here we're jumping into a new category. What is L to Q? So now we're going to the checks that I found for you. E to K from Congress, A to C from Joe Biden. Now we're going to the checks that I found for you because I care about you. I'm always looking for new stimulus checks. There are always new stimulus items passed, and you're not going to hear about it because their job is to just do things and get on with business. Their job is not to inform you about it. Stimulus check L, $100,000 on average of free month of a loan is free money. M, $4,000 stimulus check, love it. And then stimulus check N, big success on this channel, huge success. Everyone wants stimulus check N. If you don't want stimulus check N, then um, yeah, yeah, you have to check your happy zone because <laughs> stimulus N should make everyone really happy. Brand new computer, tablet, free internet. Oh my goodness. There was once a poll that said, are you more than desiring a free internet or free coffee? Um, most people said free internet. Uh, I would perhaps agree. Stimulus check O, zero down payments, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage. And stimulus check P and Q, 3% down and $8,000 uh, refi. Great stimulus check thereafter. So those are your A to Q stimulus checks. These stimulus checks all have the same eligibility. Become the next Frank Mancuso. Become a member. Get that beautiful emoji behind your name and immediately start getting months and months of stimulus checks for an 18-month recession. Well, no, a 24-month recession. 18 months of stimulus checks will really help you across the board. And again, become a member right today. Do not wait. And these are stimulus checks for you, SSI. Stimulus checks for you, SSDI. Stimulus checks for you, SSA. Stimulus checks for you, veterans. Stimulus checks for you, low income. And with that, now let's turn to another category of stimulus checks right now. And these are the stimulus checks R. Stimulus checks are for small business owners. And these beautiful stimulus checks are massive, massive amounts of money. How much? These are for my original viewers, that E-Ideal grant and E-Ideal loan and PPP viewers. I love that you are back on watching this channel. Welcome on back. I can smell you. I can feel you. I can hug you. It's Stimulus Check R. It's back on, baby. And it's based upon the events of the pandemic. If you had an employee on staff in 2019 and you kept them on staff when the pandemic hit in 2020, God bless you, because you're going to get paid for it right now. And if you kept them on staff in 2021 for three quarters, God bless you, because you're going to get paid for that again right now. How much? Listen carefully, because this is not a misstatement. I'm going to say it really slowly, because when you say it, it just uh, you have to look someone in the eye. If you had that employee on staff in 2019, you kept them on staff in 2020 the whole year, and the first three quarters of 2021, you're getting paid now from the federal government $26,000 for that one employee. I had so many small business owners in 2020 on this channel that had more than one employee. A lot had 10 employees or 20 employees. Let's use 20 employees as an example. 20 employees at $26,000 a pop. You're swimming in money. A half a million dollars of stimulus. Did Congress ever mention this? No. Did the president ever mention this? No. Was this ever in a paper or a broadcast or another financial news channel? No, 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 no. Where did I find it? I found it in a commercial. I found it in a commercial, of all places, the Employee Tax Retention Credit. 
the employee tax retention credit. It is in the membership news that I have down the stimulus check. Or reach out to your employee, reach out to your tax preparer for more guidance. But boy, you do not want to miss a half a million dollar stimulus check anytime soon. And this is how stimulus works because if you all knew about it, you would all be getting it. You got to listen to learn. That's how you get paid. Stimulus has always been that way. Stimulus has always been that if you want the big money, you have to listen and learn. If you want the novice, amateur, grade school, introductory, $200, basically big, basically barely pays for Mitch's lunch, stimulus check, then you do much of nothing and that's all you get, $200 or something ridiculous like that. If you want $200,000, you listen and learn. And that's what we're doing tonight. So there you go. Stimulus checks A to C from Joe Biden, EDK from the Congress, and then L to Q from me, and then stimulus check R for the business owners. What's on top of that? Unemployment stimulus and also the PEBT. PBT looks very similar to that stimulus check R. Why? Because it's based upon the events of 2020. If you had an, a, a child, I almost said employee, <laughs> although some kids feel like they are the employee in the house. Uh, if you had a child, and hopefully still have the child, uh, in, in 2020 when the pandemic hit and you had to keep them home from school and pay for their meals when the school would normally provide it for free, you're entitled to some beautiful PEBT in some states. And that's going to heat up a series of brand new broadcasts coming to this channel because there's so many new shows coming to this channel. Do you feel do you feel the energy? One of the brand new shows coming into this channel was debuted last night, and boy, here I was. I'll go over that big show in just a second. That is the beautiful new show that debuted last night across the board. What an exciting time that was. Um, that is the brand new crypto show back on the channel. But let's go back to understanding how 2023 stimulus checks also work, and that is for unemployment. A brand new report released today, and let me pull my notes on this one because we already knew it was huge numbers, but they're actually even more severe than originally were thought, thinking. Were released today about what's going on with unemployment. And as I have been saying on this channel for a while, in 2023, the broadcasters will tell you how many people have been fired. But they'll never tell you how to get unemployment. That's the big difference between them and me. They'll just tell you you've been fired. Your neighbor's been fired. The whole community's been fired. But figure it out. <laughs> That's not me. That's not how I rock and roll. And let me tell you right now how many people have been fired. And then I'm going to tell you how to get some stimulus for it. Crypto.com, 500 people fired. Just recent days. Coinbase, 2,000 gone. Salesforce, 7,000 cut. IDEOS, Meta, 11,000. See you later. 11,000 of you from Facebook gone. Twitter, 3,700 cut by Elon. Lyft, 700 gone. It's just enormous. It's just enormous. Oh, Amazon, 18,000. Alphabet, uh, 20, 230. Amazon sent out another letter today. I, I think I forgot Microsoft. Microsoft, 10,000. It, it just keeps on getting worse and worse and worse. That is why the market is down 613 points tonight. We'll have more about that in a second. But um, here's what's at issue is that if you've been fired, are you entitled to some money? And if you were fired, you know, let's say last year, but by the grace of God, got a job somewhere else, maybe from Sirloin. <laughs> Can you still get some unemployment? Absolutely. So this is the way it works. If you were a fired W-2 employee at any time recently, for the weeks that you remained unemployed thereafter, you're entitled to some stimulus for each week that you remained a fired W-2 employee. Even if you later got a job somewhere else, we're just talking about the weeks that you remained unemployed. And even if months have passed and you never knew about this, you can go back in time and get the for the weeks that you were the fired W-2 employee. Let's use the following examples. You had a job in September, W-2, fired October 1st, unemployed all of October, all of November, all of December, got a brand new job somewhere else by the grace of God in January 2023, found this recording in February 2023. Can you go back and get a stimulus check for every week of October, November, and December when you were very much unemployed as a fired W-2 employee? Yes, you can. And this is tens of thousands of dollars. This is what I've been doing on the channel for three years. Three years? Uh, two and a half. Yeah, th we're going to the third year of this. I first recorded unemployment stimulus, I think, in February 2020. I had the very, very first 
unemployment videos anywhere. Why do I know that? Because the unemployment websites were not open for this brand new uh, PUA and FPUC until just a few days thereafter. And I actually made videos in 2020 before the websites opened up. I don't think I've mentioned this in many, many years. Let's let's go over the importance of this for, for so much for you, for stimulus. I told viewers that the unemployment websites were about to open in about 30 days. Get the applications in now because they were receiving the applications then before the websites were open. Meaning they were open to file the claim but not open to pay you. And they filed those applications and it didn't say approved or anything. It said thank you received. And then when we start processing them, we'll pay you. Well, guess what happened? They opened the websites. I can't remember what day it was. It may have been like February 22nd, 2020. They opened the websites that morning and that day, my viewers got paid. People who waited to February 22nd to file the claim did not get paid for months. This is the way stimulus works. So if you're watching tonight and you know there's a recession on the horizon, because I've been recording that, you know that recession is coming in February 2023, do not wait for the recession to hit. Do your stimulus tonight. Go into this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, you know, VIP. Let's go over those two steps of getting that unemployment approved. Step one, file the claim. Go to your state's department of unemployment, file the claim. Number two, on, also on step number one, uh, second question, is are willing to work? Yes. Able to work? Done. Claim is approved. But not paid yet. Then you got to do step two. In step two, you have to ask for weekly benefits for the weeks in which you're unemployed. So that is the weeks of October. 2022, November 2022, December 2022, and it brings you all the way up to when you got that new job in January. Four weeks times three months, 12 weeks of stimulus checks. It's a lot of money. Do it right. And there you go. These are your 2023 stimulus checks. Let's recap. 2023 stimulus checks does not mean it's passed in 2023 stimulus checks. It means it's law and pain in 2023. We've done this a lot. We had stimulus checks were passed in one year and then pay into the next year. We had stimulus checks that started to pay in one year and then continue to pay in the next year. And then we've had stimulus checks that continue to pay over and over again. Let's go back to that Frank Mancuso graphic. Remember that one? Yeah, you remember that guy. He got 18 months of beautiful stimulus checks. So Frank Mancuso is getting 18 months of stimulus checks. Does that mean he had to get his application back in on file then and can't get it on file now? No. So that means you can get, still get the same money that Frank Mancuso got, provided it's not run out of funds. That's how this beautiful stimulus is being paid out. So Frank is getting stimulus checks in 2023 based upon his application for 2022. And it will continue to get paid so long as the funds are there. Once you're approved, you're approved for funds that exist. Get that application in tonight and get those beautiful funds across the board. The breaking news continues in the big second half as we go over what happened with this market. And we'll also turn to the excitement of what happened last night on this channel. We'll have the latest detail of what's going on with crypto, inflation, recession, and one of the worst downward trends, crashes of the markets of 2023. The market is down dramatically tonight, down 613 points. You'll see in the graphic underneath me. And that is as the PPI was released and HB Fuller reported corporate earnings. Was it a beat or was it a miss? Goldman reported corporate earnings yesterday. And Thursday, we have Procter Gamble and Netflix. Also tomorrow, we have the latest details on unemployment claims. Wow, what a big broncos it is. And we'll be looking more at what happened in that show last night. Will it air again tonight? Oh boy, we are getting excited. What was that show? Ann knows what it is and Dragon knows what it is. It's a show that makes you a lot of deliciousness. It's coming up later tonight from the shores of San Marco, California. Wow, what a big night it is. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as this and more breaking news from the shores of San Marco, California with your economy, your wallet, and everything else in between continues. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as America's most watched show in primetime continues. It's LA Light. With so much at issue tonight from what happened in the markets to what happened with stimulus to what's going on for recession and inflation. See you back. In 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, 
and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues. The shores of Santa Monica, California. Have you become a member? Go around this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Get that incredible membership newsletter tonight. Start applying for those incredible stimulus checks tonight. Stimulus checks for small business owners, the stimulus check R. Then continue over all those other incredible stimulus checks across the board, which include stimulus checks for SSI, SSDI, veterans, and more, A to C, E to K, and L to Q. Go right in this video, become a member, go into that newsletter, and go right into the password on the most recent post for members on this channel. Again, these are 2023 stimulus checks passed for you. If you make less than 75000 SSI and SSDI, veterans and more, you want to get as many checks as possible. 18 months with a two-year recession, you need it. What's important when you look at these big stimulus checks is that with an 18-month recession, you need as much stimulus checks as possible. And these are these credible 2023 stimulus checks. Remember, 2023 stimulus checks does not just mean it's passed in 2023. It means it's law at twain in 2023. That's why so many people are becoming members. Welcome to the membership of this channel. Memberships out of control. Over 100 brand new members every 24 hours or 48 hours. Become a member, get these incredible checks, tell your friends and family to come on over and get all these huge sums of money. With that, let's go into the breaking news of what we're dealing with in the big second half and it all starts right here, right now with this market and boy, it is volatile. On Tuesday, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, the two major banks, reported corporate earnings. And Goldman was a major miss. Morgan was a slight beat. And that's not particularly good because if banks are missing on corporate earnings, that's more indication of a recession. Then we are waiting desperately to see what happened today with J.B. Hunt and what happened. Well, J.B. Hunt came in. And what did it say? It fell 4.2% after the company reported earnings that missed across the board. No more. Manufacturing adjusted earnings were 1.04 and Wall Street expecting 1.24. Uh, not good. <laughs> not good. Revenue was also missed as well. 958 million versus a 1.01 billion estimate across the board. Alcoa reported earnings minutes ago as well and that stock was down 3.6. Had a net loss of 374 million. And it also is facing challenging macroeconomics that impact this entire economy. So oh, there we go. Tomorrow we have Netflix. And so far we're seeing the big problems of labor in the situation of technology. Microsoft, 10,000 jobs, fired. 10,000 people gone at Microsoft. Alphabet, 230. Crypto, 500 jobs, gone. Coinbase, 200 jobs, gone. Salesforce, 7,000. Facebook, 11,000 jobs, gone. Twitter, 3,700 jobs gone, 700 jobs gone at, at Lyft. What caused all this commotion today? And was it really the Goldman miss yesterday? Was it the Morgan Stanley beat? Was it the China rebound that was re reassuring news? No, we just had a lot of major problems today in this market. Let's look at some of the data that we got in later today. So we had... Um, the PPI that came in today that showed a 94.3% probability of a 25% price uh, interest rate spike at that next FOMC meeting, which, of course, is February 1. That um, prediction is coming in from the CMing group uh, data. But the producer price index fell 
5%, so that's a half a percentage point. In December, while real estate sales were down 1.1%, mm, yeah, interesting. So not particularly consistent across the board. St. Louis Fred, President uh, James Boulard said today, perhaps in the same outfit I'm wearing, <laughs> that he would like a more aggressive interest rate spike at that next meeting. So he would like a half basis point, not a quarter. I agree. Why not Why not go where we're supposed to go, where we think the policy rate should be for the current situation? Now we're just going to react to data? Once you get there, you can say, okay, now we, now we can react. I agree. I mean, why are we going to 25 basis point from, from 50 and 75 if you're still... And it's something that is so far away from 2% inflationary rate. 2% is the target. We were 8% last year. We're certainly still not 2%. Why are we taking our foot off the pedal? I don't get it. Philadelphia President Patrick Harker said today that he thinks he's more happy with something a little bit lighter, like 25 basis point. I expect that we will raise rates a few more times this year, though in my mind, the days of raising 75 basis point at this time has surely passed. I agree. That was Harker, who is a voter. At the FOMC, in my view, rate hikes of 25 basis points will be appropriate going forward. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Do I agree? No. Uh, this is inconsistent with what the Federal Reserve has actually said themselves. The Federal Reserve has said themselves they want to come in strong and aggressively to get it down to their target inflationary rate and then take their foot off the pedal. They've not gotten even close. They have not gotten even close. So why are they taking the foot off the pedal when they're not even close? What could happen is what could have happened decades earlier, is when you take your foot off the pedal too early on those interest rate spikes, inflation comes back roaring more than ever before, and guess what happens? It takes harder, more difficult steps to get it under control. So I would certainly not go to 25 basis point. Mm. Do you want me to do this? I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> do you want me to do this? I think I'm going to do it. I think they're going to say 25 basis point at that next FOMC meeting. Uh, of the Federal Reserve, and that they will then suffer the consequences. They're going to realize it did not work, and they're going to go back to 50. Fed officials say that there will be no likely cuts into 2024. I agree, but I think they're going to have interest rate spikes for a while. So here is a variable. These, by the way, are not classified documents from uh, from, the, from the garage. <laughs> Another guy has that problem, not me. Uh, <laughs> Secretary Janet Yellen said today that uh, the government is likely to, to hit the $31.4 trillion, I do pause because that's a lot of money, $31.4 trillion debt ceiling limit on Thursday. And when you reach that level, it means you have to borrow and, because you don't have any more cash available. The government can't do this, but here's the problem is that since the cost of operating government operations exceeds your revenues, the government must immediately sell treasury bonds. If the federal government can't pay its bills, it will default on its debt, and it's only happened once in U.S. history. Answer me yes or no. Do you think Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans want the federal government to default on its obligations for the first time in U.S. history coming this Thursday? That's a tough question, isn't it? It's a really tough question because you got to think about it. Do you think the Republicans want Janet Yellen and the Biden administration to default come this Thursday when we hit the debt ceiling limit? Here's the problem. If you are an elected official and you want that to happen, you're likely to cause a recession and a financial crisis, says economists. So this is a mixed bag here. How much do you want to hurt this economy to win control of the White House? And how much is the economy hurting right now that you think that, you know, maybe we can still win the White House the way it's hurting right now? Or maybe you don't think you can win the White House the way the economy is hurting right now. Maybe we have to really hurt the economy to win the White House. Now, if you think about this... We've seen both versions of this. I'm trying not to be political because I'm just going over facts. We've seen both versions of this. We all know during the 2020 election cycle, there was an opportunity for Nancy Pelosi to do a deal with Steve Mnuchin. She didn't. 
They didn't make sense why she didn't do it because the money was enough. I think, for example, she wanted she was offered four hundred dollars a week FPUC, and he uh, and, and she said no. I want six hundred dollars FPUC per week, and people never got any of that FPUC. It was twelve thousand dollars. Why did she really do it? Most Republicans say that the reason she rejected the Steve Mnuchin FPUC offer six hundred four hundred dollars a week to hold out for six hundred dollars, which never she got, and she never got any FPUC money for any Americans ever again, was politically driven to win the White House for a Democrat. If you think that she did it to hurt the re-election opportunities for Donald Trump, then you think the Republicans may do it this time around to hurt the re-election opportunities for the Democrats. I never like people playing around with money to win political seats. It just smells awful. It just really smells awful. Because ultimately, whose money are they playing around games with? Your money. They have enough money, so they're not worried about not making their bills. They're playing around with your money for your bills to win their political seats. And they're both doing it all the time, Republicans and Democrats. Good or bad? Horrible, in my opinion. Horrible, in my opinion. If you can't win a political seat without doing things normally, then why are you a politician? Ultimately, we will see this Friday. I have done a lot of debt ceiling videos where we're on the cusp of a default on the debt ceiling. And I know a lot of viewers really freak out about it. Do not freak out. We There are stop gaps where we continue this for a few months or a few weeks. Do not worry about it. And the most common question I got in 2020, and so I'm going to answer it right tonight, is if we do default, does that mean that your checks are not paid? No one really cares about you as much as I do to go over this with you because this is a fundamental question that Americans ask. If the U.S. government defaults, am I getting my SSI check? Am I getting my SSDI check? Am I getting my Social Security check? Am I getting my veterans check? If the U.S. government defaults, do I get my check? Yes, because here's how it works. We're assuming there's a default. There's potentially not a default because they roll it over 30 days. There's two weeks to negotiate this a little bit more. If it does default, the first thing to default is not that. It defaults in staggering limits. If you're around uh, maybe 15 years ago, this happened one time, where one thing ran out of money and then another thing ran out of money, another thing benefits is about two months out. It's not immediate. It's not immediate. The first thing that would change is government buildings would close. So if you do have a federal job in a federal building, non-essential federal employees would not be called into work because we don't have salaries for you right this week. That's the first thing. That doesn't mean if you work in the federal government, you don't have a job. No, it means they stagger things. So again, the answer to you is no, you're getting your checks. I know you were thinking about that. I was as well. For the choice of Santa Monica, California, did you miss last night? Oh my goodness, it was exciting. Let's take a look at what happened last night. Crypto is back on, baby, on Channel 3. Wall Street Live has been rebranded as Crypto Wall Street Live, and viewers loved it. Anne was in there, Dragon was in there, countless viewers were in there, and I looked up a little bit like this as well. <laughs> And I adored the show. We had so much fun. I'll see if I can do it tonight. Maybe if not, after tomorrow night. Let's take a look at that show that aired last night. And let's learn and earn a little bit more. It was last night's hit show on this we'll channel. Segue let's segue Wall Street Live into Crypto Wall Street Live. It'll air nightly on this channel. And it'll have the latest streaming, breaking details on cryptocurrency, best coins to be buying in the month of January 2023. And also February 2023, right around the corner. Let's go right into the breaking news tonight. We're looking at Bitcoin right now that is really heading to those incredible resistance levels. And these resistance levels are really one after another. We're going to go over each of those tonight and to give you some guidance on how to time the market across the board. Let's look at the details we're looking at right tonight with that 21,300 resistance level for Bitcoin. First, what is a resistance level? And more importantly, why do you need to know about it and what does it mean for you? If you haven't become a member, make sure you do to Channel 3 so you do not miss any of the breaking cryptocurrency and Wall Street details today. Let's look at the situation right tonight. So this is crypto's benchmark. It is the move for Bitcoin in a very short period of time, and it is heading to that 21,000. As always, stay informed, stay focused, level. and stay the first of three resistance more. levels I'll be showing you tonight. And it's critical because it would be.